Hello, hello you guys. Today I want to discuss how I've lived in Germany not only one time, but two times. Whenever I go traveling or I go back home, I get asked a lot, how is it possible to just live in another country? And it actually is not as hard as many people think. Now, of course, I will say that that depends on your passport, whereas uh, America has a relatively strong passport or the US has a relatively strong passport and Germany has I believe one of the three strongest passports in the world. So it makes it much more feasible to live and work in different places. Now in Germany, I originally came here in 2015 and I was living with my German partner actually in Australia at the time. We had met and then we went to Australia together. And at towards the end of that year, we had said, let's go for Christmas to visit one of our families. Our intention was actually to go back to Australia at that time, not to stay in Germany. But um, as our life goes, and I will share later on the process of like how uh, came to be living here permanently, um, we decided that we would come here and visit his family for Christmas time. So we, we flew. Make a wish. Okay, wish me. Um, yeah, so we flew to uh, to Germany for Christmas time. We actually flew here on the 23rd and got here for the 24th. Now, something that's really, I think, interesting is that Americans celebrate the main Christmas on the Christmas holiday on the 25th. For Germans, from my experience, they celebrate it more on the 24th. That's the big day of celebration with the family. For us, that's New Year's Eve, and it's usually something smaller, uh, which maybe I'll go into more detail, like at Christmas time, into a video or something. Um, yeah, so we came here to visit his family, and uh, at that time, I knew like one sentence of German, and so it was a fun experience to get to know them. But after we had been here for about three weeks, we never had a ticket to go back to Australia. We said we would just see how long we want to be here. We had to go back to Australia. I think it was within three months to keep the visas that we had. And after that time at Christmas, my husband had been away from his family for over a year and a half, two years at that point. And he thought maybe it would be nice to stay around for a little while to be around his family. And I also thought that would be a nice experience also to learn German and get to know them better um, because his, his parents don't speak English. And so we wanted to stay here, but we weren't ready to get married yet. So we were trying to figure out, okay, how can I possibly stay here? Can I get sponsored for a job? Um, because I have a university degree, but we found out really quickly that yes, um, it is possible to get a job if you don't speak German, but it's harder to get like a career job, especially, and what I mean that like a career job is like a business business style job. And since I had studied uh, communications, which is in that, that sector, I got lucky enough to have the opportunity later to, to work in that branch because a lot of friends of mine who are here, they're all teachers or English teachers because if you don't have a degree in Germany, it's really hard to branch out and do something else. And then on top of it, if you're not fluent in German, it definitely makes it harder. Now I've heard if you live in a larger city like Berlin or something, it doesn't even really matter. But where I live, it's not a huge city and it is harder to find a job. So at that time when we decided we were gonna stay, I was able to find a job teaching English, um, but it wasn't sponsored because it was a freelance job. So there was no way to be free uh, to be sponsored. If you got like a full teaching position, then you're able to be sponsored because it's an English teacher. Um, but then I would have needed teaching credentials, which I did not have. So that wasn't a possibility. So what I found out through some research is that yes, I already have a university degree, but if you study German, then in a full-time course, then you also can get a visa and it even allows you to work partially. I don't remember how many hours per week I'm, I was allowed to work anymore. I want to say it was something between 15 and 25 hours um, that I was allowed to work per week, or I could have a mini job um, in Germany, which is like the 450 euro job. Now it's gone up. I think it's 500 something where you can always work as a secondary job off of your normal job. And 
I thought that was a great deal. I was just trying to find a way to, to stay here, to be with his family, to learn German, to um, experience his culture for us to see if it really fit for us. We both wanted the opportunity to meet each other's families and to see um, yeah, what the future would look like. So I was able to go um, into the, the foreigner office, which in my head, I cannot think of for the life of me, the name at the moment, something Amt. So please, for those of you watching this video, put the name of the foreign office below. That would be great. Um, yeah, so I had to go there and it was quite easy. I went to a school. I found a school I wanted to learn German. I enrolled for an A1 course, full-time A1 course. And I um, then went to the, the foreign umt and was able to, um, within like a week or two, have a visa to stay here in this country. So I didn't apply for it outside of Germany. I applied for it once I got here, once we made that decision. So I studied German full time and through that I was able to get um, a job on the side, freelancing, teaching English to make a little bit of money. So the first time I stayed here about a year and that's what I did. I did that course in the time that I was here and then we decided that we wanted to leave and do other things, which I'll share at a later time in a whole nother video because that's a whole nother story. And then fast forward, so that's 2015 and then fast forward three years to 2018 in May. Oh my gosh. My five-year anniversary of being in Germany is this month. I don't know the date. I think it's the 18th. As my friend Nikki would say, happy good Deutsch Tag to me. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's crazy to think about. Anyways, so I've been in Germany now the second time for five years. We moved here in 2018. And in 2018, when we came here, we were already married. So we got married um, in the States because um, to move the paperwork from the US to Germany was way more easy than moving the paperwork to from Germany to the US. It required a lot more paperwork um, to take back to the US and in Germany all we basically had to do was bring our marriage certificate, walk into um, like the, I think it's the Rathaus if I'm correct, and register it there and then um, that was it. We were married in Germany. It was quite easy. Once we were married in Germany, I was um, issued quite quickly a uh, uh, Aufenthaltstitel or a, a residency card. And through that, I was allowed to work and live here. Now, there was some stipulations on that. Um, it was, I think, only valid for three years. And in that three years, I had to do... Um, I had to take a B1 level German course and pass it. So if you remember, I said in 2015, I took, um, I took the A1 course and then I didn't do any German courses after that. So when I came back here, um, I took my A2 course and then I went straight into my B1 course. And uh, within a year I was ready and I took my final exam and passed it. Uh, and then additionally, I had to take an orientations course, so to learn about uh, German law and history uh, and the rules of Germany and things like that. And then I had to take, I think it was a 350 qu uh, questions to study, and the test was 35 of those questions. You had to take it and get a certain percentage right and pass it. And those were the two requirements I had on my visa that I had to accomplish before it expired. Uh, once I accomplished them, I was able to take it into the office and register it, and then it was finished. And then once the three years were done, I was allowed to apply for um, a Niederlassungserlaubnis. So like, um, like a, uh, I don't know, like a permanent residency card rather than just like a residency card. Um, and with that one, it, go, it coincides with my passport. So. Um, because I just got it a, a few years ago, I think it's like two years ago now, um, and my passport expires in a few, couple of years from now, it will expire when my passport expires. But once that's done, it will expire with my passport, which is, I believe, if it's still the same as every 10 years. So that means I only have to go in the office every 10 years to get anything done. I'm allowed to work in Germany as much as I want full time. And basically, um, minus a few things like not being able to vote, 
I have kind of the same um, rights as a German living here. So I pay into the system, I pay into the tax system, and um, just like everyone else that lives here. So there's definitely different ways to live here. I've heard other people, I know like there's a very common to go study in a university here. Um, and I also have a friend who came here and um, learned German and was able to uh, get a job um, as a librarian because um, that's what she studied and they needed people. And so she was able to basically get sponsored to stay here through that. So there's obviously other ways. If you have studied something, you can always research if there's like a necessity of jobs in Germany for that or learn the language and try to get a job here. So that concludes how I lived here two times. I will, as I said later in other videos, share I've also lived in Australia and I've also lived in Thailand before. Um, and so I will share maybe some videos of how I was able to stay there as well. But if you're someone that's interested in living in another country and exploring other countries, um, which I know some people have different opinions on that. For me, I feel like it really changed my life. It helped me grow up. It helped me um, be more interculturally aware. And I am so thankful for the experiences I've had. And of course, I would never have, I guess, met my husband if I hadn't taken those experiences. So it also made a huge impact in my life. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.